Hello everyone and welcome back. We are headed back down to Cochise County, but this time we're not headed directly to the land. We have an interesting side detour to start off this video. Of those who are familiar with a lot of desert homesteading will know where this place that we are at, which is at the tiny shiny home compound as we helped Ashley and Jonathan work on their brand new hyper adobe roundhouse. But after a very long day of helping them out and working on the workshop with other folks, we did eventually make it out to the land just in time to put our feet up and rest and check out the brand new land that had just been cleared. We were just here for the evening though, and then eventually we had to make our way back hours away to Phoenix where we were at our RV park. Where I actually had some packages come in. So this is my really old pot and pan set I've had for a few years. As you can see, it's really... Uh, on its last legs pretty much. Um, it's been melted and stained and burned and everything else in between and scratched up along our journey. So I figured it was a perfect time to maybe say out with the old and in with the new. So I purchased this set um, off of Amazon which I've unboxed here. I actually have two or three new pots on top of what I used to have and um, I'm pretty excited to use this. There's a lot of different variation in size. And although white is not my first color, it was the only thing available within the time frame that I would be here. So that's why I opted for that. But otherwise it looks to be about the same in quality and appearance. Um, I actually went ahead and tested it out with a nice hearty stew or chili, I guess, um, of sweet potatoes onions and you'll see here a little bit further everything that's added um, i sauteed all of the veggies up first and to a vegetable broth to soften them then i added spices of garlic turmeric and a lot of chili powder gave everything a nice good stir let it all kind of combine and meld together Then I added this can of organic diced tomatoes and finally a can of lentils. Just kind of stirred everything around and let it kind of simmer down all together. And it turned out pretty good and man those sweet potatoes really pop in there. Look at that gorgeous purple collar. I added just a sprinkle of shredded vegan cheese, some avocado, and it was very delicious. But there was some work to be done as we were in our final days at the RV park. We had some basic errands to take care of. Paul went ahead and started our last load of laundry. And meanwhile, I was up to my own efforts. I am sicker than a dog. <laughs> this is probably the worst timing ever, but um, a few days ago, Paul ended up um, he got his kind of end of work notice at his seasonal job and literally the day after he came down with symptoms um, similar to I thought it was a cold but it got a little worse and um, he was thinking it was COVID because it was the same symptoms he had back at the end of 2019 and go and figure 
four days later, I end up having symptoms and I have the same similar symptoms that I had back at the end of 2019 as well. Um, so, <laughs> uh, we're supposed, to, well, we technically have a week until we can be out of here. Um, when our official, um, paid time is up at this RV park, but, um, we kind of want to get out to the land early and take advantage of the time I have off of my job to get some things done, whether that's going to happen. I, I really don't know. Um, I think I'm nearing the end of it, but I feel like garbage today, but something's got to be done. I've got so much stuff that's got to be put up in the span. Um, it actually does not look as bad as it has been in a really long time, but I've got clothes and just some miscellaneous stuff just everywhere. The bed is stuffed. That box is the jackhammer we bought. We just don't have a place to put it um, until we get down to storage. And so, um, yeah, so our life is a little crazy right now um, because I'm trying to think about how I'm doing all this in the span of two days before we decide to head out of here. And so, yeah, so I guess it's time to get to work. First up was the disgusting van fridge that had not been cleaned probably since late spring, I think. <laughs> so I got to work and got it back into decent shape. Eventually I got all of the clothes put up and some of my extra travel cases and the bed cleared off and by then it had started raining. And for those who know, when it rains, it floods. <laughs> Later, Paul was able to get a lot of our totes and things put back up into the trailer as we tried to transition everything out of there and over into the van that we thought that we would need. And finally the day came where we had to say goodbye to the RV park, although we were pretty happy because this place was a little underwhelming to be honest, uh, pretty dirty, and I don't know if I'd recommend it really. So we gladly hitched up and would eventually go on about our way. The next stop would be to our land out in Cochise County. The drive is pretty delightful on one of the um, eight bypasses around Phoenix. There's a lot of saguaros and beautiful views to admire along the way. We eventually made it down, first making a short stop to our storage unit where Paul was able to unload, offload, and kind of reconfigure what we would need on the land. Eventually we made it and got to work on doing some adjustments to the land. I was trying to re-level out certain parts of this and yes I know that's not a shovel but it actually worked better than a shovel in my opinion. And Vinny also did his part as well. But this is all we have for you this time, my friends. Uh, we've got a lot more exciting stuff as we are full-time on land, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. 